Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. Today's topic is my personal top 10 furry shows. Today's segment will run the gambit of what is considered furry. From traditional anthro, human-like, to feral, animal-like, or even just animal ears and tails. That being said, this list is not all inclusive as there are many shows I never got around to watching. Let me know some of your favorites in the comments below. I'm always on the lookout for more shows. Oh, and this was in no particular order, so just bear with me here. Number 10 on my list is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a anthro-based show. Why is it on my list? Because my persona is a turtle. You would think with how many reboots that this show has had throughout the years that there would be more turtles running around, whether a ninja or not. For those of you who do not know, this show is about four teenage, teenage turtle brothers who are ninjas who fight to protect the streets of New York from mutants, alien invaders, and even a rival ninja clan called the Foot. If you like action stuff or comedy, check this show out. Number nine on this list is Timon and Pumbaa. Yes, those guys from the movie Lion King got their own spin-off show. This one's more considered feral than anything. Although if you look at Timon, you could argue that it is anthro as well. This show features the lovable duo of getting into zany misadventures Sometimes before they meet Simba, sometimes after they meet Simba. If you like Timon and Pumbaa in The Lion King, then this show might be for you. Number 8 on this list is Guy Lander's Academy. Based on the game Skylanders, in this one, Spiral the Dragon, Stealth Elf, and Fizzlepop attend Academy to learn to be detectors of Eterna. I think I got the name right. I'll have the proper spelling right over here. As they fight against the forces of chaos. Seriously, the main villain's name is Chaos. Will they succeed or will they fail? No one knows. Well, if you actually play the games, you would know, but eh. If you like Skylanders or Spiral Dragon just in general, check the show out. Number. Seven on my list is Ham Taro. This show is a feral show. It is all about a group of hamsters who band together for some fun time, normally while their humans are away. Sometimes helping the humans out, mostly just having little hamster adventures. If you like hamsters or you like adorable stuff, this thing might be for you. Number six on my list and the only one on this list that is ears and tail only Tokyo Mew Mew Power In this one, five girls are infused with DNA of red line animal species as they have to become their own version of the Sailor Moon Scouts or Power Rangers to fight a group of aliens who want to take over the world Number 5 Bye. It's Disney's Dark Wing Duck. Another anthro show on this list. This one is all about a DW himself. A self stylized Batman who fights a crew of zany villains as he tries to bring in safety to the city of Cape Canard. Dark Wing Duck does appear as a reoccurring character in the 2017 series of DuckTales. Number 4 is Thundercats. Now there's actually three series I could talk about with this, but I'll be focusing on the classic series. On a faraway planet it's called Thundera, a group of nobles have to escape the planet imploding. Kind of like what happened to Superman. They managed to get to a planet called Third Earth where they have to rebuild 
of their society, it working side by side with the locals of this planet against the forces of Mumra, the ever living, and the mutants. This has a whole bunch of different animal like characters in the cast, both on good side and bad side. So if you like those 80s style shows, this is a good series for you. Number three. Wow, down to one hand already. It is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now you're probably like, okay, I know what Sonic is. What's the big deal with this one? This one is about a world where Robotnik has already taken over. Where Sonic, Tails, and a crew of other friends are freedom fighters fighting to overthrow the evil Robotnik. So if you like the blue spiky boil, or maybe the two-tailed fox, this might be a good series for you. I'm pretty sure Stormy Wolf would agree with us. Number two on this list is Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beast. This is the newest show on this list. The year is 2,220. Yes, 200 years after this point. And mutants have pretty much taken over the whole surface world. Humans are pretty much in hiding or extinct on the surface. The main character finds their way up to the surface and has to try to reunite with her people along the way making friends with humans and mutants on the surface alike. I highly recommend checking this show out. Now for my number one pick. If you didn't see this one coming, I am kind of surprised you didn't. It is Looney Tunes. This show's been around forever. In fact, some might say we might not even have the furry fandom without Looney Tunes. What is it? Well, it's a classic cartoon that features heavily on physical slapstick comedy, mostly revolving around Bugs Bunny as he goes on different adventures. Well, I wouldn't really say adventures, more like stuff that happens to him and his crew of friends. So, if you like classic Tom and Jerry style humor, where they get flattened by anvils, blown up by dynamite, and falling off insane heights and being more or less okay, then this show is for you. How many on this list did you know before I told you about it? What are some of your favorites that I did not talk about? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share this with friends, family, co-workers. I honestly do not care. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.